Are you going to do movies? I, I tried to do acting, and then I, I had a sitcom for a while where I played myself, and then society decided I wasn't good at that. <laughs> and so now I guess I'm just doing this thing. I, I'm, I'm trying to get your job in about 20 years. Oh. Um, but, yeah. you know, you got, you got a while, you'll be fine. I'll tell you a story, right? So I was, I was on a plane, I was flying Delta, I was flying, I was flying New York to LA, and I was on this flight, and it was like, I, I have, I'm a, a diamond medallion on Delta because I fly so much. Not wow. that, you know, because I just wow. fly so I know, it's wow. very impressive, yeah, isn't it? Really diamond. Is, yeah. I, I used to be a coal member. Um, so, <laughs> so, so what happens is all the, all the special people, the diamonds and whatnot, yes, that, and all the, all the, the, can I say scum? Yeah. And the rest of them all, <laughs> the rest of them all sit that way. And I'm standing next to this lady, and she's just like, oh, this is such a big line for the plane. Oh, my God, this line for the plane. I'm just trying to phase her out. And then they let on all the people in the wheelchairs, the privileged people of our society who get to, <laughs> who get to park wherever they want and get on planes first. So they all go on first. <laughs> and, then, and then Delta said, oh, now our diamond medallion people can get on. So I just, me and, like, four other guys, we all just went forward yeah. and we got on the plane. So I'm sitting in my chair. I'm all happy. And then that lady sits next to me. And she goes, oh, I've never met a diamond medallion before. And so I pick up, like, the Sky Malls magazine, like, oh, God, I don't want to talk to this bloody person. Like that. <laughs> and then she goes, how do you become diamond? And I'm like, I, you know, I, I travel a lot with work. And she goes, what do you do for work? And I was like, I, I work in entertainment. And then she goes, why do you do in entertainment? The last thing you want to do is say, I'm a comedian, sure. because then you have to tell a joke and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So I said, oh, I work with comedians, which is factually correct. I do work with comedians, yeah. right? And then she goes, oh, I work in entertainment. And I said, oh, yeah, what do you do? And she goes, I cast all of Martin Scorsese's films. And I just shut the magazine, I put it back into the thing. <laughs> and I turned to her and went, Jim Jeffries, pleasure to meet you. Then I got to tell you, I wanted to sleep on that flight, but I smoothed the ass off that woman for about five hours. I had never been more charming in my life. At the end of the flight, I'm getting her overhead luggage. I'm taking her down to the carousel, right? I, 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 ring, I ring her. She's the only girl in a mining town for you. <laughs> hey, the first thing I do is I ring my manager up, and I won't say her name, but she's a real person. And I ring up my manager and I said, I met the lady who cast all of Martin Scorsese's film and my manager isn't high enough up in the company. He goes, I, I can't talk to her. She's too big for me, but there's someone in the office who can, right? And the big person in the office rang her up and said, I hear you just met Jim Jeffries. And she's like, what a delightful young man. I've never met such a charming young man. He goes, she goes, I want to screen test him. I think he's a star. He's got it all, right? And they ring me back. They go, she loves you. And I'm like, brilliant whole life made, right? <laughs> and then, then five minutes later, I get a phone call. I go, she just watched some of your stand-up. She's not interested. <laughs> oh, well. So, you won't be seeing me in a Martin Scorsese film anytime soon. <laughs> I, I can't imagine there's ever going to be an Australian character in Goodfellas 2. <laughs> just walk in like, bada-bim, bada-boom. Oh, good day, guys. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we killing?